Hello again. Uh, this is the second clip about indices, and this time we're going to look at when uh, expressions are divided. Uh, now, there we've got 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 squared. How do we work out what that means? Well, we could write it as one over the other, and that's actually going to be easier, because 5 to the power of 5, or 5 to the fifth, is 5 fives, or in a row, multiplied, and 5 squared is 2 fives, so we can put those on the top and the bottom of a fraction. Now we can cancel out a 5 top and bottom and another one. Now that just leaves us with 3 fives on the top and none on the bottom. But bearing in mind that we are cancelling down and we're just dividing top and bottom so we're still left with uh, 3 fives on the top and effectively 1 on the bottom which we can get rid of like that. And so we've got 5 cubed. Well, let's keep that result on the screen uh, while we have a look at another example, this time just with letters. s to the power of 8 divided by s to the power of 3, or s cubed. Once again, write it as a fraction and split it up. 8 s's all multiplied divided by 3 s's all multiplied. And we can cancel out 3 s's from the top with 3 from the bottom. And that leaves us with just the 5 uh, leftover s's on the top. So that becomes s to the power of 5. Well, let's uh, uh, just leave that uh, result for the time being and have a look at both results a little bit more closely. Now, um, 5 to the 5 divided by 5 to the 2 turns out to be 5 to the 5 minus 2, uh, giving us 5 cubed. And in the second one, s to the 8th divided by s cubed gives us s to the power of 8 minus 3, which ends up as s to the 5. And so that's actually the rule. When you're dividing two uh, numbers and the same base, um, in, that, in that example x is the base of both of the expressions, x to the a divided by x to the b is x to the a minus b. So dividing is sort of changing into subtracting. Now, just like the other rule we looked at in the first video, it's a, it's a rule which works just as well the other way round, and we're going to find ourselves using it both way rounds in future work. So, remember, x, divide, x to the a divided by x to the b is x to the a minus b, and that rule works the other way round. And it's a rule which must be remembered.